Sunny Digital and Q. Thank you for joining us. What's up? <laughs> so tell me, how'd you guys get together on this collaboration? Um, well, we had already did a project previously, mm -hmm. so you know that this was like almost kind of like um, it was bound to happen. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So that was that though. It was. Uh, I mean, even if you know, it, it was gonna happen anyway. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm saying? So what, um, how did your friendship start as far as, did it start musically or did it, did it come from another angle? We went to school together, like mm -hmm. in middle school, like a long time ago. So, right. you know, it just started, yeah, it started like just from way back then and it just kind of like grew into it though. I have, I, I've been making, I had been making um, beats back then. He was a basketball yeah, player. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. So, I mean, you played basketball and you played, you went to college, right? Mm hmm And then you, did you, you got kicked out of school? It was like a job thing. It was like a, it was like a, a package deal. You had to, you had to work, go to school, and um, and uh, play basketball. You couldn't do just one. Mm -hmm. And then right then, I, I was straight out of high school, straight into college. And the type of job that they had me doing was welding. It was like you just hop straight off the boat from like, a, from eight a.m. to three p.m. welding every day, and then you would go. Uh, the class and then pa practice afterwards. Uh -huh. Not to, not to mention the games we had on the weekend from f uh, flying and stuff. So I was welding one day and I just when you welding it's a mask it's a mask on it and the tent is so dark on it that even if you get up close on it you can't see through it because of the radiation how how bright the uh, the, the rays are the ultraviolet uh, light is. So I put the mask on it like set myself up trying to be sleek uh, slick trying to act like I was trying to you know come up on the scheme on how I was gonna weld it. But I guess I stayed there too long, and it was like, nah, there's no way that he could be up. He got to be asleep. So, yeah, basically, long story short, that time. So, they was, cause it was like a, it's a safety Great. hazard. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause I was, in, I was, it's, it's a million stuff. I was working on a uh, shipyard in Virginia, mm -hmm. building boats for the Navy and stuff. So, it's a safety hazard. Mm -hmm. So, they, I guess they was like, nah, you're a liability, buddy. You got to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But at that point, I was like, shit, it don't even really matter to me, shit. I don't like doing this shit anymore. I just want to hoop for real. Yeah. I ain't trying to be well or nothing any damn way. So besides you producing beats, did mm -hmm. you do anything beforehand? Are you talking about like, I'm, nah, I was just living. <laughs> <laughs> I was just living. He I was the first person that came to school with tattoos. I remember, too. <laughs> yeah, I, I think, remember that. How old are you? How old was yeah. I? I was young. I can't even really remember. I was real young. My, my mom just never like. I ain't gonna say she never cared though. But I mean, she had a group of boys, so you know, like we were just not. I ain't gonna say doing what we, want, what we wanted to, but we just really. I mean, we was doing what we wanted to, but mm -hmm. not in a disrespectful manner though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We always kept it real respectful though. This nigga came to school. I think it was social studies. I believe. What was that teacher name? I forgot. But I don't forgot. But now nigga I, came tatted. Hey, I was like, hell nah, nigga. We young and motherfucker. Nigga had hand tatted. Yeah. Looking back now, are you guys in shock that you guys made it this far and you guys are, you know, working in music versus, like, you grow up, your kids, you, you're playing basketball, you're just going to school. Could you see yourself in this place right now? Me? Yeah. I, I always did, you know. I, I, like I said, I was doing music, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I was like, okay, I didn't, then I dropped out of high school too, so it was like, I ain't had no choice. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then I couldn't get hired for no jobs. They wasn't. Like you said, I already had tattoos, so my life, my, my fate was already sealed yeah. before I got out of school, so it was like no choice. Yeah, we be talking about John, though, like if we knew back then how shit was going to be now, it would be like, oh, man. Yeah. You I would have had more fun, though. Yeah, exactly. I would have had more fun in school, probably, you know, like, I don't know. Like, man, it was crazy. It was crazy, though. Yeah. So out of the songs that you guys worked on, which one is your favorite so far? Um, That We Be On is pretty hard. That's that's like that's the one we we did the video for that one yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it ain't out yet though. Mm -hmm. but when it do come out, what, why is that your favorite? It's just like I mean, all our records is pretty dope though, cause we really just do what we want to though. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just like it's almost kind of like we just gonna have fun all the time though with it though. So I mean, but that's just the one. Only reason I say I like that one too because we just shot the video for it too though, yeah. and I actually get to see like a like what what it's about to turn into. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but. I don't know, and it's one of them beats. I made the beat though, too, so and the beat hard as fuck, yeah. as usual, so, yeah. So who called who about, you know, said, like starting this project? Who reached out to, huh? It probably was me. <laughs> <laughs> I think I probably hit him up, like, I mean, but we always talked about it though, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause it really, you know, we, like I said, we had the project, the Forbes Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? We had that one before, and then, um, and then it was almost it was almost kind of like it needed like a part two to it though, but like like everything that was going on in between though mm -hmm. just had to make sense though. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. all right, like it's got to make sense for both of our careers though, because we still doing our own things too though. You know what I'm saying? Aside from working together though, so like mm -hmm. 
um, like coming together and doing like a collaborative project, though, it's got to like make sense on both ends, though. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? When we did the first one, it made a whole lot of sense, though. And right now, it, was, it makes sense to do yeah. what we're doing right now. You know? Is there any other collaborations, um, any features from any artists? Um, I don't know yet. We we just we try to finish up our end first though. Mm -hmm. That's that's we try to finish it up on our end though first though. But I mean, I mean the features to me that's pretty easy though. You know like I got we got something that they they want and you know and we got I mean they got something that we want too. So we can do an even exchange some time though. And like some people just fuck with us too though. You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't even that though. But I mean people it's just some some people just fuck with us though. So and like getting, getting features and all this stuff like I don't think that's gonna be like a um a hard thing though. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I ain't really like. Pressed about it though. I just want to finish up like what we got first though, cause we might not need no features though. You know, mm -hmm. like we might can just do it ourselves though, like how we've been doing it though. You know what I'm saying? It might it might work though. You never know. Yeah. So what makes this different than any other um, mixtapes that are dropping out with you know collab big collaborations from big artists? Let me answer that. Bro. Yes. Personally, <laughs> me, don't nobody, nobody, it ain't no beats out like his. Person, I'm not just saying that from a French standpoint. Mm -hmm. I've been saying it from day one before I even had you know started <clears throat> excuse me doing music. It ain't nobody to make beats like that, man. So it's like, it ain't gonna sound like nothing. Period. Just off the, just that alone is like, you know what I'm saying. And I'm, a, I'm very big on listening to what's out and trying to go opposite of what's out, like just from styles, just sound. You know what I'm saying? It's just how people rap and everything. So that factor plus the fact that, to me personally, it ain't don't nobody make beats like this, man. This, you know what I'm saying? It's producers out this hard, and I'm fans of other producers too. But it's just like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I really don't. This nigga beats be crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then it's not just like you know. It's like it ain't like like this is just my friend. So it's like you know like like I don't look at it as like work. We just just doing what we doing. So it's like a lot more fun though. You know like it ain't like no it ain't no pressure on it though. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. I don't know like I ain't gonna. I mean it's gonna be. I I, ain't, I can't. I don't, I don't know what's gonna be different about it though. What people gonna take from it though? But I mean what people do need to understand though. We've been. Doing that, we did the collaboration mixtape a long time ago. It's just like the sequel to this, though. You know what I'm saying? It's just that it went over a lot of people's heads, though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like we've been doing it. You know what I'm saying? We've been doing it, but now, now it's becoming cool for people to do it, though. Now, you know, like, and we we just putting our second installment into what we already done. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know, like we just gonna continue doing this. You know what I'm saying? And, mm -hmm. And like he said though, like I know my beats is pretty crazy right now, and I know like right now a lot of people want to hear them too. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? If you don't I, like what I'm saying, you gonna you gonna at least like the damn beat. You gonna listen? Yeah, it's, it's gonna, gonna be, make you listen because of the beat. That, that, that's why I can guarantee it's gonna be a fifty percent win every time. Like you're gonna at least like the beat though. I promise you that though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that it's lyrics are whack though, but I am that confident in them beats though too though. Mm -hmm. And I'm here too, like kind of like if 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 it's whack, I'm gonna tell them it's whack. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you know what I'm saying? We we ain't got like that. We ain't got like that little that little boundary between us and stuff that we can't cross. You know what I'm saying? I can like really tell him like, hey yo, that shit whack as fuck. I don't fuck with that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It ain't won't be no no feelings or nothing like that though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, you know that that makes the work process and the music a whole lot better too when you can kind of keep it real between each other. You know what I'm saying? Like keep it real as possible. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How important is loyalty right now in in rap for you guys? Very important. You know what I'm saying? You stick with your right team, you are gonna win. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like this shit, it's just inevitable. Just look at everybody else's team. Everybody else who stuck together. You know what I'm saying? And like, when 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 you stick together, it just you know it just work. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It work better when there's more than one person working. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a fan of Drake. I'm a fan fan of the idea of Drake. So. No disrespect against Drake. What do you mean by the idea of Drake? What does that mean? Meaning that if he has a ghostwriter, he's an idea. He's not meaning that it's it's a perception created that he's not really writing the lyrics, and it's a, it's, yeah, it's just like an, here let's 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 make this in the factory and put it out. I'm just on top of my game right now, Vlad, and uh, I'm just getting blessed. I'm booked four or five times a week, six to seventy-five k a show, man. I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm I'm winning right now, man, and I'm just. Instead of trying to increase my hustle.